when I start a farm. And the advantage is, is I, I've got a bunch of small fields. If I bought a harvester, I can afford a class dominator or whatever the smallest harvester is. Um, in Farm Sim 19, the bison. Um, and I can keep it on the farm. And we can use it whenever we want to. But, frankly, let's just um, lease a slightly bigger one so we can get the harvest done quicker. It's not costing us any more. I can invest the money that I didn't spend buying a harvester on more fields so income is higher. Um, once we've harvested all the fields, we give the money back. Or sorry, we give the harvester back so we're not paying for it for the entire year. And, you know, do that for two or three years. Um, what, what it did on this farm is it gave us the opportunity, we bought the, the green harvester we had before this one. Um, we bought the, is this not empty, is that not over, did I park too close, possibly. There we go. So it allowed us to ball the, buy that Fent Harvester very cheap because we were able to wait until it came up on store sale. Um, this came up on store sale this year in the middle of the harvest, so there's nothing really to stop us no, wrong button, um, from buying this used, and it cost us, yeah, we've got the 350,000 or 300. Yeah, three hundred fifty thousand pound harvester for one hundred seventy-five. So, not arguing about that. It's a good size medium harvester, and it will last the farm for a very long time. And it cost us less than, you know, buying this harvester at the beginning of this farm's life. But, and that was what I was getting to. If you are leasing a harvester, do not contract it. Um, the problem is, is the hourly payments on this thing is more than you will get paid for doing a contract. You know, we've been doing these since about 3.30. We've been running this for an hour. The leasing contract or the leasing payment would not be covered by the amount of money we've made from these two contracts. So frankly, just skip it. Yeah, use borrowed equipment for the contract. It, that again, it'll pay a little bit less because you're paying to use the other farmer's machinery, but that's all factored into the lease payment. You're not paying a leasing cost on the vehicle, which is very bad move. And we, we did that early on with our, um, I think in our second year, we did a bunch of harvesting contracts and lost a ton of money because of the leasing costs of the harvester we were using. Now we have our own harvester, those costs aren't a factor. Am I doing this? I don't know. Okay, we are at 48%. I'm thinking I can go up and down and I will be halfway up again before I fill this up. The other thing we can do is claim the finished contract. Uh, 133 is complete, let's get paid. to do well I don't know if we have to do deliveries for the rest of it. Yes we'll find out. I didn't look. Where are we at? We're down to 66%. That's probably not the greatest idea. Uh, go back. 
back. So this is not even half delivered. That is delivered, but it's the field we're harvesting. So uh, we have to complete harvesting this field and we can claim it immediately. We then have to deliver barley to get the other contract completed. to 25,000 money in the bank so that's good and we still have the canola to sell so that will be I think very late fall we get to sell the canola we might be able to buy a field we'll probably be able to buy a field around about September October time I think because I think the big grass field north of our farm and northwest west of our uh, cow farm should have enough stuff uh, or enough income, should I say, to get um, get that field bought. So yes, I was I was talking about equipment we want. I would I think I would like a approximately two hundred horsepower. Really did that turn off again? Yes. Um, approximately two hundred horsepower tractor, and then after that I would like to increase our yeah you know, upgrade our cedar because the cedar we have is a bit crap. 4.6 meters and you can't fold it so it's difficult to get it down the road and we're now kind of getting to the point where um, we have to trek further afield across the road network in order to get to some of our fields I mean it's not too bad <coughs> driving straight out the yard into the field across the road but when you have to drive down the road it's, it's a little bit awkward I think our first batch, or our oldest batch of cows, are due to carve about November, and that may give us an indication of how broken we are with the uh, milk uh, supply. I'm not sure how to fix it if we don't suddenly start getting an income of milk is the problem. It's about 25% per row, a little under. Probably going to have to empty before we get to the last row. Contract is 90% done. I think we're possibly close to completing or having delivered this contract. There seems to be some. Um, margin of error um, in the how much do I need to deliver versus how much have I delivered. You'll notice the contract that's completely delivered has minus 800 left to deliver. Um, and there, you know, your, your percentage of completeness is based on how much the field you've harvested and how much of the contract you've delivered and I think until you've harvested the whole field that there's a margin of error there that you might deliver more what am I doing 
162 gun. I don't know. I think maybe we'll make this one in one tank. 10,000. The John Deere is at 15, so we've got about 25,000 litres to, uh, to deliver from here. I think what I can do is, since it looks like we'll have the capacity, I'll empty this out, we'll transfer over to field 5, and uh, then we'll transfer the John Deere via the farmer's market. so that we can get all the barley contracts complete. It is game time 4.30. We have a feeling that if I do field 5, it's not going to stick me in the best place to do any more harvesting contracts today. I don't think that's a big deal. Um, I think we'll do okay. And that's the field done. 97% full. We can turn off the uh, thresher and go dump this in the grain trailer. Marvellous. Okay, so that is all of our barley contracts harvested. So, where is field 5? Field 120 is complete, that's the one we're on at the moment. Field 5 is straight across from there. Oh, yes, I know. There's a nice little area there where you can shuffle around. I'm, f I'm guessing we can just run through the yard down here and come in that way. We could go out that way and come in that way and that... No, that would put the header load on the wrong side, so no, we won't do that. Okay, that's empty. Let's go over here and uh, drop this off. computer games on days other than Saturday mornings. Um, I picked up playing um, American Truck Simulator again. I haven't played that for a long time. Possibly even a couple of years, but I decided eh, I could play that for a bit. And it, it, it's kind of nice if you, if you don't, with, with Truck Simulator, as you gain more experience, you gain more skills. Uh, one of the skills is long distance driving. Um, and at level one, um, or level zero, I think you can do about 250 mile trips. And at level five or six or whatever it is, you can do unlimited, you know, whole map trips. But by keeping that level down, it does mean that the majority of trips are 30 minutes or less. So it's the sort of game where I could say, oh, I've just finished work, I feel like relaxing, um, I know what, I'll do a trip. And then it's done, yeah. And it's 30 minutes, and then I can go and do something else. Um, somewhat, you know, farming simulator you can do that with, sort of. But a lot of the time with farming simulator, I'll get 
into a contract or into a job and I won't look at the clock until I complete it so oh look it's 10 o'clock already um, but it's not yeah okay I finished the job oh yeah it's probably time to do something else so uh, yeah, farming simulator contracts can take a while as I said yeah we've been We've been playing an hour and ten minutes, I think, approximately an hour and ten minutes. We've got two contracts completed. And, uh, yeah, we've got another one to do. Okay. So yeah, nice thing about Field 5 here is there is a huge, well, huge, uh, an adequately sized patch of grass at the entrance here that we will be able to use to manoeuvre the harvester around, get the header and do all the things that we need to do. Somewhat. Put that there. Get around there. Unfold that. How about we fold that up? Okay, do not unfold the harvester. Let's see. I can maneuver around that. That might get in my way later. But for right now. Ugh. Mostly enough room to get around. Okay, again, this is another big field. Barley produces more than wheat, but only 10% more. So this, we might not make it all the way around. Which is unfortunate, I guess. I think if I go down here and turn around, it looks like there's a bit of a area at the end of this row. I can possibly get this turned around and come back. It won't leave me in an impossible situation. It's not a very square field. Yes, we can see. This is the long end. Mm, yeah. We're over thirty per cent, so I'm think we're going to make it all the way around. So the easy way to do this is to just turn around here. Get lost in the trees. Alrighty. And head back along here. I will do... I can probably... Well... 
it looks like this field is the sort of field I can actually do with the um, the pipe on the outside because there's not much in the way of trees that would damage it which is one of the reasons why we tend to do a counterclockwise opening loop But yeah, you do an outside lap counterclockwise and then you do everything else clockwise so that it's easier to unload. But you really need to make that first lap without unloading. Because there's no yeah, there's no way to get a car out to you and alongside unless you start pulling all sorts of crazy uh, maneuvers into the crop to make an unload space which is what course play workers do or driving in the crop which is a bad show we are 84 Yes, I think what we'll do, we'll pull up at the end here, we'll extend the pipe, we'll go get the John Deere and dump the Bali. not that way. Uh, that looks like a good way to go. So I think 25,000 in the bank. It's not a super, super comfortable amount, especially not since we're now getting into planting season and we're probably going to have to buy some seed, maybe some fertilizer, maybe other bits and pieces but um, it's it may be sufficient for buying consumables we're not going to be able to buy anything else at this point we've got next month contracts which will give us a little bit more stuff money to buy stuff with But after July, August, September, September we shouldn't have any major outgoings except our leasing costs on the baler and the milk tanker. And then uh, that's the big question about buying land. I really, really, really want to buy some more land. I'd like to buy it empty. I mean, having having a crop planted means I don't have to pay for seed and stuff like that. The downside with that is I can't, or I'm restricted in what I can do. I didn't plant it, so it may not be direct drilled, so I'll lose a tillage bonus to my overall environmental score and I won't be able to lime it so the pH might be bad and just all of the problems that entails okay I didn't look just watch the money as soon as that starts counting down we shut this off counting up. Of course using grain doors oh, means that we're not tipping too quick there. Okay, so that means two barley contracts complete. We can get paid 
mm, six, seven thousand ish. Alrighty. And that just leaves the wheat contract. So, remaining 10,000 litres, we can take down to the grain mill. Then we can go and get the wheat. Now, the wheat all delivers at the grain mill, so we don't have to, you know, it's just tip it all. And once the contract's delivered, the rest goes on to make flour for bread. There's already another crate of flour. But well, we've already done deliveries for this month. We don't have to do it right away. And up, up, and. Production barley flour is counting up nicely. So we should get a nice supply of barley. And that's all gone. Okay. Oh, that was the thing I was going to do. Um, I'm going to increase that. Repair costs and repair interval is going to be quicker. And this tractor already has 50 hours on it, so it's the most expensive it's ever going to get to fix. And be damaged. Harvester's not far off. Harvester is about 46 hours. So, a couple more years, or next year, probably, it will be at its most expensive.